Shani, and today in Homemade Science, I want to go back and visit one of my favorite pieces, the sand pendulum. Now, it's a very simple piece. Uh, to operate it, we simply pull it back, give it a little bit of energy, and release it, and then watch what happens. Now, to try this doesn't require any special equipment. Soda bottle, some sand, and some string. Now I'd start by putting three holes in the soda bottle, either by drilling them or just simply punching a hole in. Make a small hole and then I can make it a little bit larger using a screw. Simply drive that into the hole. And that's going to be for our support strings. Cut off the bottom. We also have a hole here in the little cap. Next, we add three strings to the bottle itself. Now take that piece we just made, attach it to a support string, which then attaches to additional two support strings going up to the ceiling. It's the length of these upper strings that determine the design. If we make them shorter, that will give us a different pattern than if they're longer. One other possibility is to just have a single string going up all the way by itself. With the bottle attached, this is the point where we'd add plain, ordinary play sand. But today we're going to add layers of colored sand, and I'm going to show you how you can make that yourself. The process is easy enough. You simply need sand in a bag and some food dyes. Here we go. You start by just taking and adding maybe a dozen drops inside the bag. Seal it up and simply shake it around. If it's not dark enough, simply add some more dye to it and continue to shake until you get it to the shade that you want. You can use the sand immediately after adding the dye. You can use one of the other colors or if you want to get orange, you simply have to mix the red and the yellow together to the shade that you want. I've layered the sand in the bottles. Now let's give it a try. Now I could also change the bottle around. Instead of having just one bottle releasing sand, here I have two bottles, and we could even try it with three bottles. While getting it ready, I put tape on the bottom to keep the sand from leaking out. Now let's try it with the three bottles.
Now, I really like these patterns, and I want to see if I can save them. So I have some big sheets of paper and some spray adhesive. Let's give this a try. Now let's try that again with longer upper support strings. The sand posters may have to sit a while as the adhesive dries. Well, as you can see, there's some interesting variations that you can do with the sand pendulum. It makes it fun to explore. In part two, we're going to try it with a magnetic sheet and iron filings. And then we're also going to try it with paint. I hope you enjoyed this video and come back and see me again. Okay, bye.